All right, series circuits. A couple of things to remember that um, in a series circuit, the uh, current is the same throughout. Uh, the voltage drops across each one of the um, resistance resistors in there are proportional to the resistance. So the higher the resistance, the higher the voltage drop. And that the total resistance of the circuit equals the sum of all of the resistances in that circuit. So let's take a look. So one path for current to flow. And this is a DC circuit, so the current flows in this direction through this this resistor, this resistor, and this resistor back to the power source, power supply. And if you would measure the current at each one of these points, you would find that the current is always the same no matter what point in the circuit that you measure it. So, so how do you go about measuring the, the uh, current going through this system? So the first thing you have to do is calculate the total resistance of the system. And that's pretty simple to do. Remember what we talked about earlier. It's the sum of the resistances. So we have 10 plus 6 plus 4 equals 20 ohms. And from there we can calculate what our total current would be. So 20 ohms which is our total resistance. And you remember from Ohm's law, the current I equals the voltage divided by R. And so that would be 10 divided by 20, which gives you 0.5 amps of current through this entire circuit. So we have a total current of 0.5 amps throughout the circuit. So how do we calculate the uh, voltage drop across each one of these resistors. Okay, so we go back to Ohm's law. We have the voltage equals the current times the resistance. And if you remember, we had 0.5 amps of current flowing through this circuit. So the voltage drop across each one of these resistors would be the resistance. For example, on this one, 10 ohms times 0.5, so that's a voltage drop of 5 across this resistor. Then we have 0.5 times 6 ohms voltage drop of 3. And then we have a 0.5 times 4 ohms of voltage drop of 2. And if you can see here that the sum of each one of these voltage drops across these resistors equals the total voltage applied to the circuit. Okay, so series circuits, we find these in air conditioning systems, mostly in the control circuits of the air conditioner. And when we get into to more advanced schematic readings, we're going to be taking a look at um, series circuits in a little bit more detail.